Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 350. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 349 to 352. Hey, we have a conditional formatting trick here. Here we have some data, and we want to conditionally format data that is listed three times. So you can see there's three twos, and there may be some other, uh, there's three threes right there. So we need to conditionally format that. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to use conditional formatting with the count if uh, function. Let's see how the count if function would work if we can tag a particular cell. So really, we want this cell to say there's three of them, this cell to say there's three of them, this cell to say that there's three of them. So we'll use equals count if. The count if function counts given a criteria. So we'll highlight this range, control shift down arrow. F4 key to lock those cell references, because when I copy it down, I want it locked on that range. And the criteria is going to be this cell. But I want um, B13. Now, I can't click on B13, so I'm going to click right there and then back arrow, B13. Now, right now, if I close parentheses and control enter, there's four. But when I double click and send it down, Oh, well, it looks like there's four of them now, but there's three fours. So if we go and find, I have the data randomizing there. If I go and find all the fours, where are they? There's a four. See how it says three? There's another four, so it says three. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to uh, come here, put it into edit mode, and copy this. Now, what we really need, control C, escape. When we do conditional formatting, we're going to have to put this in a dialog box, and it'll remember it. It needs to look at each one of these cells, which we'll put this formula right here. But then we we don't want the number 3. We want to say, is 3 equal to 3? So then we we'll use this cell right here. Now, when you're doing conditional formatting, you've got to be sure you know where the active cell is. I'm going to click in the top. Control shift down arrow to highlight the whole range. And now the active cell is the light colored one at the top. Now we go to conditional formatting, home, styles, conditional formatting, new rule. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt O D. Now that's an old keyboard shortcut from 2003, but it's faster than the one they have, which takes three letters. So Alt O D, new rule. Amongst all the options, we want formula. So I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to click right there and Control V. Now, very important, active cell. When you build this formula right here, it's got to be from the point of view of the active cell. So right now, it's saying B13, which is the active cell. If I had started down here and the active cell was right here, B16 would have to be right there. Now, what do we need? This is going to deliver the count. We need to say, is it equal to the 3? And the reason why, and that needs to be locked in all directions. The reason why is because we want true, false. So only when the count if delivers a 3 and this delivers a 3 will it come out true. Now we click Format, and I'm going to click maybe Fill that in earlier versions that says uh, patterns, font. I'm going to select color white. Then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click OK. So now, if I scroll this down or scroll down, you can see only the values that are listed three times are listed in conditional formatting. Now, um, watch this. I can change this to five. Right? And so because I've linked it here, now I have a dynamic. Now the f we know that the 5 is listed uh, 5 times. And the 7 is listed also 5 times. So conditional formatting. And if I hit my F9 key, I think I have it randomized. So then we can see that that will change also. All right, we'll see you next trick.